Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing something a little bit different. I am going to run through every single spawn in Ashika Island. I know it seems like a lot. There is only six spawns in Ashika Island, and once you learn them, it's pretty easy to navigate. On top of that, everyone in Ashika Island normally follows the same route over and over again, so it can be pretty easy to predict. Now, right here, we start at the bottom of the beach club. You have one team over by Port Ashika, and you have one team a bit higher up at Town Center. Normally, you can go through these two buildings, and it is normally pretty good for loot especially if you're looking for a chic liquor this is where i found mine a lot for my passive upgrades from here you can get pushed very easily and very quickly it is not uncommon to get pushed from port ashika now luckily when i was making this i didn't get pushed which made it so much easier in order to show you guys around the area a bit i know a lot of people have already been through here a lot of people know this already but if you don't and you are new to dmz this should help a lot they spawn just down here under the bridge from here they will normally push over to you down a beach club or they'll push up and head towards castle. All Ultra, we're tracking a heavily armored target with a weapons case. Marking their location on your attack map now. Advise you intercept, but it's your call. If you do, however, decide to go through the port, there are a lot of buildings in here for loot and exclusive spawns here. There's lots of stuff going on, and I think I personally went on one of the PWCs here, if I can remember correctly, and I went straight over to the ship. The ship has a lot of loot, self-reses, bags, chests, guns, all sorts. It does have a butt ton of bots though, so do be careful and do be prepared. If you're gonna push the boat, people may be here, but if not, there are a ton of bots. Once you've had your fair share of loot in this area, you can get on top of the boat and take a good look around and you can kind of see what's going on around the area. Going around the map, we do have the port spawn next, which is directly under this bridge like I just showed you. It is a pretty good spawn to push beach club or to push the port or the ship. However, I do always go for this cache before I found secure bags in here. I found bomb drones in here. I found all sorts in here. So don't look past that cache. Absolutely hit it if you spawn here. From here, I think I went directly to the castle. I pushed the castle. I went straight on the roof. And from there, you can jump wherever you need to along the map. Getting on top of the castle is pretty easy, however, do be careful of the boss, uh, I like to call him Wally, he rolls around and he will shoot you. From here, it's pretty typical for people to jump straight over to the power plant, or in this case, I saw somebody baiting an exfil and I went to chase him. It did not end well.
the next spawn we have is the shipwrecks off to the east side of the map. They do hold some mission items for early, early missions. So if you're new to DMZ and you're looking for some contraband packages in the Ashika, this is where you'll find them. However, from here, a lot of people will tend to push residential or they will push down and head towards the castle or the port. There is always a cache and a couple bags here, so feel free to always check them as you spawn here. If you're coming in with little to no loot, these are great for a quick pick-me-up. From here, a lot of people will actually grab the tab that you can see on the map down at that gas station. I chose not to, and Xville does spawn here. You can pick that up and jump out of it if you like. Otherwise, I, again, went straight to the castle and made my way from there. Inside the castle, there is a ton of loot. There are bags. If you need two plates, there are chests. There are lockers. There's all sorts of goodies in here. If you do go inside the castle, again, there's even more from that point. From here this time, I did decide to jump on top of the castle roof and then I jumped straight down to power to show you guys exactly what I mean. There are people down there at apartments as you can see, I live pinged, however, I went straight to power and normally if you're quick enough you can get here before anybody else, however this is a very, very typical place for a lot of teams to push, you can see somebody's already been here and this is a stronghold, it always is a stronghold and if you do have a key you can get in and there is a ton of loot, however be careful because you can get in from another side and there is a tunnel that leads directly underneath it. If you do go to apartments be wary, a lot of people push this, it is a very high combat zone as you can see there's already people here with prox mines and it can get very very hectic very very quickly This next spawn is a bit north of the map. It is just up by G3. There is an exfil that spawns here and it is quite secluded. You don't have too many people right near you. You do have the shipwreck and the farms off to the left there. You also do have the apartments. So this is the team that will normally push either apartments or power. Coming through here, if you go onto the roof of this and you come in with no loot, there's normally something on here, whether it's cash, a bag, a vest, or a gun, there's something up there nine out of 10 times. From here, the buy station is pretty convenient and straight through that door to my right, there is a tunnel entrance to the underground of power that will lead you straight up to the roof and past a bunch of loot if you're after that. As you can see, somebody in farms has already ticked off one of the UAVs. Luckily, I'm stealthy in this and they can't see me however they are going to push apartments and it does get pretty hectic in this area so once again be careful but be aware Coming over to the farm's spawn, it is at the top west of the map. It is pretty good, it's pretty easy. You can push town center pretty quickly if that's the sort of thing you wanna do, or you can push straight through farms, go to the buy station and get to apartments. Normally it is a fight between the farms and the north spawn to fight for apartments to see who gets there first. And if you do get there first, it is pretty good to hold. However, people have learned very good ways to push that area. I push town center. It was a bit of a risky one and I just thought why not however I got my ass handed to me as you'll see He's dead. 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 He's dead.
And lastly, we have Town Center. This is actually a pretty good spawn. You do get pushed from farms on the odd occasion. Beach Club might push you if they're feeling like it, but it's otherwise not too risky. You can normally grab that tab there and push over to farms and get there before they do, depending on what they're doing and what you're doing. However, the best thing to do here, grab some loot. If you are coming in with a fresh operator, there are bags. There are always chests on top of this building as well. Sometimes they're both red. Sometimes they're just regular chests. Either way, you can normally get some good loot look at that i got a gun i got a two place stealth and i got a medium bag from here you can just jump straight up onto the roof on the other side there is also another chest sometimes it's orange sometimes it's not in this case they were both orange look at self res look another gun you are set for some basic loot from here most people will push farms if you are spawning at farms or you are spawning here do be careful of that i actually got baited at the next field went over there nobody was there so i just pushed apartments overall ashika island is a pretty small map it is the smallest out of the three out of Almazra, Ashika and Vondel. I did manage to clutch up a pretty good kill here. However, it is dangerous if you're coming in alone. If you are coming in solo, do beware. There are a lot and a lot, a lot of people that will be running the one-shot shotgun. So do be careful. You'll either see them or riot shields or even RPGs. A lot of people camp, a lot of the rats and the sweaty players come to Ashika. So if you've got better times in your time zone where things are a little bit quieter on the DMZ servers, I'd suggest going in then or going in with a teammate to come in and learn if you've not been in here that often. However, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have learned something for the new DMZ players. I hope this gave you a bit of an insight onto the new spawns and where you can be headed or you could be going into Ashika Island. It's not scary once you get used to it there are a lot of things to learn and it is a fantastic little map especially if you need to do a regain with some friends and of course if you liked this video please smash the button down there hit some comments let me know what you guys like to see and what would like to see more of and if this is the first video of mine that you have seen you cannot go past i've already done the almazra spawns video and the vondel video so go check them out they will be linked in the description or you can go check out my channel thank you very much and i'll catch you later